what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we have a 2009 6 750 in the garage and we're gonna do some diagnosis and throw some parts on it so this bike already has a fair bit of mods done to it but the problem we're having right now is that the bike will not stay running no matter what you do so this video is gonna be beneficial to you if you own a Gixxer 600 or 750 because this engines are pretty much the same and you're experiencing problems like this quick side note this paint job is fantastic so just like i mentioned this bike has had a couple things done to it it has a canon performance filter in here it has a power commander it has a yoshi motor exhaust on it i think that's what you pronounce it it is actually a straight pipe pretty much as you can see in here the cat has been cut out and the pipe put in place so some things has been done to this bike and it's far from stuck now i'm going to show you exactly what the issue is Obviously, as you can tell, it does not sound good at all. And there's lots of black smoke coming out of here. I don't know if you can catch this on camera, but there's lots of black smoke coming out. Oh. I don't want to keep the bike running too long because right now it's really clouded and it's smoking here, not good. But the garage door is open, so that's okay. Now we're gonna start digging into this to figure out why this bike is doing this. We're gonna remove the airbox assembly. Airbox is out. And now down in here, in case you don't know, these are the car packs over here. Over here, it looks like uh, some the block of plate mod has been done. And on this bike, it appears to just capped it up over here. I don't know how sealed this is. Right now, the goal is to figure out why the bike is not running properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop out the coil packs and the spark plugs and take a look at those. Now I'm gonna remove the spark plugs. So I currently have the spark plugs out and these do not look good. As you can tell, probably in this video, these are super wet. It definitely should not be that way, which means that these are not burning the way they should. Some of these spark plugs have corrosion on them, as you can see. Definitely not what you want to see on a spark plug. And the same applies to these coil packs. There are corrosion on both of them. Uh, if it's this bad on the outside, it's hard to tell what it's going to look like on the inside. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is replace the spark plugs, which I'm sure they are way overdue and throw in two new card packs and see how this bike performs. Like always before installing spark plugs on any vehicle, you want to make sure it's gapped correctly. I have checked this, they are gapped within specifications. So I'm going to go ahead and not bore you guys with testing this all out again and toss it on the bike. To get this repair done, we have some new NGK Iridium spark plugs. It's a really good stuff. We have two new car packs to replace this two that appear to be faulty. Even though I did test them and the resistance are within spec, we're just uh, trying to eliminate the possibility that these are going to be the problems. Four new spark plugs are going to go into the motor. Now, whenever I install coil packs back onto the spark plugs, new or old, I always want to throw in some dielectric grease. This is really good stuff and I always toss it in. So the two original good coil packs, just a squirt and two, and then we have the new ones in here. A little bit. Good. And now these coil packs are going to go back in sequence, which would be cylinder one. Make sure they're seated properly. Next, I'm going to plug in the connectors. With all that done now, I'm going to start it up and see how she sounds. All right, guys, I had to cut that shot because after I installed the new spark plugs and car packs, the vehicle or the motorcycle was still experiencing the same issues it was having, only that this time it actually stayed running. 
but it did not sound good. So I had to do some digging, lots of diagnosis, and this is what I came down to. Currently, I have the computer plugged in. After doing a whole bunch of diagnosis, I decided to check the power commander. And lo and behold, the file that was flashed to this power commander, I'm not sure if it's the correct file or if the file just got corrupted. I have no idea. I picked this bike up. The owner did say that the bike was running very good for the longest time. And all of a sudden, it started running super poorly and could barely stay on. He did put in a full tank of gas. At some point, I was starting to be mad. If perhaps he had put in some really bad gas and that's why all this problem began. But as you've seen, we opened the spark plugs. We located those were really bad and they were ready to replace. We replaced that with some new ignition coils. Bike was still not running good. Went over to the power commander, flashed back the stock file. So pretty much it's not doing nothing to the bike. And then I tried starting it up and it started up and runs perfectly. So, is that the problem? I guess we'll never know. Fuel pump primed. All right, so now that we've been able to get the bike running properly, it's time to start doing some mods to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of this old chain. As you can see, it's not looking good whatsoever. We have the perfect kit to throw on this bike. All right, so as you can see, we have a Vortex rear sprocket. We have a JT front sprocket, a nice EK gold chain that's gonna really completely tie this together. Without much more talking, let's pop that wheel off, get this installed, clean it up a little bit because obviously it's been sitting and make it look better. And with the wheel out, we can pop off the old sprockets. Just like so. A little bit of cleaning. Now we can open the brand new Vortex sprocket. Nice. That looks way better. Now we've replaced the rear sprocket. It's time to move forward over here, pop up the front sprocket cover, replace that and this nasty old chain. Now we're going to cut the chain. Now removing the old front sprocket, just like so. Now we're going to try to clean up all this build up over here really kicked in. And now we're gonna install a new JT sprocket. Nice. New sprocket is installed. Installing the outer bolt with some lock tights as specified. 
And now we're ready to throw on this brand new EK chain. Beautiful. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, or if you're not enjoying this video, you're still watching this video, now would be a good time to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't, so you don't miss out on videos like this. So now with the bike sitting over here, the tire over there with the new rotor, old chain and old sprocket, now is the best time to go ahead and do a brake caliper service I install some new brake pads on the rear. Let's do it. One pad out. Second pad out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and service the caliper. All this build up over here, the stints you don't want on any brake system in a motorcycle, car, whatever it is, that's not good. And that could be very catastrophic. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it all out. Then we can install the new brake pad. And just like that, we have serviced this rear caliper. I'm sure you can see it's a whole lot different than when I first opened it up. Now we're gonna go ahead and toss in the brand new rear brake pad. But before we can do that, as you can see this caliper or the piston in the caliper is sticking out way more. We need to push this in. And in order to do that, we need to come in here, remove the reservoir, have it sticking out, remove the cap so we can release some pressure from it, and then push that piston in, install the new brake pads, and then we can bleed the rear brake system. Now let's compress the piston, just like so. Now we have a brand new rear brake pads ready to go in the caliper. And now with the new brake pad installed in the caliper, we can throw the rear wheel back in and completely secure all of this. So right now I have this piece of metal fitted in here to make sure that when we bleed the brake system, it doesn't lock up on us. And we can continue with the process quite smoothly by installing the brake system back on the rear rotors. And now with the rear brake reservoir open, I'm gonna dump out some of this fluid. Fill it up with some new fluid. And over here, the bleed screw for the rear caliper.
Okay guys, as you can see, we've addressed a whole bunch of issues. Right now we have brand new brake pads in the rear. The brake system has been bled with some brand new fluid. On the left side of the motorcycle, we have brand new chain, sprocket, front and rear. That's looking good. We've also addressed the issue that this bike had when it first came in. The poor starting, poor idling and sputtering and all that stuff is no longer present. I did go ahead and also clean out the airbox, clean out the air filter since it's a k and air filter and it's completely reusable as by the manufacturer. So we clean that out, we toss it back in. Bike is running healthy, she sounds amazing. The next thing we're gonna do right now is jump to the front. We have brand new brake pads for both sides of the front. We're gonna bleed the brake system. And then again, we're gonna open up the fuel tag, remove the fuel filter and clean it out. In order for us to replace the fuel filter that's in the fuel pump over there, I'm currently draining the gasoline, as you can see, because right now this gas tank is filled. So draining it. So while this is draining, we're gonna move on to the front and start working on the brakes. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I had so many dreams, then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the heart, it's my only medicine, yeah Everything I do, I'm just being genuine, yeah I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline, yeah I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah <laughs> Everybody listen up, cause I'll only say it once I'm gonna show you all the path, if you want it bad I'm gonna show you where it's at, yeah, how you can get it back Yeah, cause I ain't never done, I'll be number one Working at a Alright guys, and just like that, as you can see We've got a whole lot of work done on this Suzuki Jixxer 750 Right from the back end all the way to the front Whole bunch of new parts have gone on it Right now, the next part that's gonna be going on this bike Is gonna be a fuel filter Right now, we're gonna open the fuel pump, extract the original fuel filter, cause I'm sure it's dirty and gunked up, and throw in the replacement one.
okay guys as you can see we have opened this fuel pump up and that fuel filter is absolutely disgusting this is what a brand new one should look like and you can clearly see the difference reassemble all of this with a brand new filter and toss it back in the bag okay guys and just like that that fuel pump is now fully assembled as you can see we have the original filter that came out of the fuel pump and one more new one just for comparison you can see how bad this actually is but luckily we're getting this done motorcycle is definitely going to run much better than it currently is so now i'm going to go ahead and reinstall the fuel pump back in the tank we can start this thing up and hear what she sounds like All right, guys, and now we fill the tank back up with some gas. Let's see. Yeah, the gas light went off, so that's good. Let's start her up. Good. She sounds like a brand new bike, yo. There was absolutely no hesitation. It started up right away. Another day, we're back in the garage. Still working on the Suzuki Jixxer 750. Right now, I'm gonna do the most basic maintenance that you can do on a motorcycle, which is the oil change. Let's do it. Got a whole lot of work done to this bike. It has a brand new chain, sprockets front and rear, brand new brakes all around, brand new brake fluids in the front and in the rear. Really, really good stuff. We cleaned out the performance air filter, new cover pack, new spark plugs. Pretty much a brand new bike, guys. So now she's gonna run perfectly the way she's supposed to. Way better than stock or way better than before she came over here, that's for sure. If you enjoyed videos like this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Be sure to stay tuned, hit that bell so you get notified whenever I make a new video. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.